So I think everyone is aware that the music industry is changing. You know, people aren't buying music anymore. And as a result, you know, the major labels are dying off. And as a consequence of that, the support that they're giving the independent artists is gone. So it used to be that the label would promote the artist and get their music heard by the general public. And now, along with creating music, the artist has to be able to be their own promoter and their own video editor and their own marketing people and try to get shows. And most artists just can't do that. You know, they don't have the resources. They don't have the team of people to put that together. And some of them are getting really lucky through social media. But to most artists, this is, this is a real problem. So we were taking a look at this city and we said, man, wouldn't it be great if someone just stepped up that had these resources available to them and helped out independent music? I mean, that's what we need, right? Independent musicians need an affordable way to be able to get their music heard. That's what it's all about. So we sat back one day and we said, wait a minute, we're a rock band. We know about playing rock and roll music and we own a recording studio right here in Detroit. And we're already helping a couple of our friends write songs, get their stuff recorded. Why can't we do this? I mean, we record an album and our studio sits empty for a couple, couple months and we have the team of people that can do it. So we started asking our friends. We said, video editor buddies, you know, guys marketing, you know, bloggers and artists, what do you think about creating a music scene for independent musicians here in Detroit? Well, let's help out some bands. So we said, well, sure, let's do that. So today we're announcing GBS Detroit. That stands for Groovebox Studios Detroit. That's our studio that we have right here. Uh, at the Russell Industrial Center. And what we want to do is we want to provide all those tools that the major labels ripped away from bands. So we're creating an online showcase where bands come in and they record the Motown way. We get in the room all together, one band, one room, one take, and we do a live recording so the talent shows. We don't do overdubs. We don't do any of those extra mixing and extra fun stuff. We let the band be the band and show you what it looks like live in a true Detroit DIY spirit. We're launching GBS.com today, D GBS Detroit. This is where all these videos and tracks live, and it's built for social media, so the bands can become their own promoters, and we help them through this. We build our network and their network, so the bands are working together. These are things that cities, before you know, the internet and social media, these are things that cities like Seattle and Nashville and Austin were doing to build their music scenes, cooperating together and if one band succeeds, the rest will succeed. We're building the website for that. So it can't just end there, though. You have to have a real-life music scene. So we're building that scene right here in Detroit. Number one, we have to make recording affordable. We have an amazing facility, an amazing studio. That's the number one hurdle that most bands have, is being able to afford to just record their music and get it out there. So we're letting Groovebox Studios open up. We've recorded about 50 bands since we started asking people to come through here. And we've got about another 50 on the books that want to come in and make these live recordings and videos right in our space for next to nothing, really. We also provide a platform where these artists can reach out and connect to their audience. Things like our storyteller session. We had our first one Monday night with a national artist we help out, Scarecrow Jones, where they came in and played in our studio. We also have a radio show. Every Friday night at 8 o'clock, my partner, Fuzzy Wenzel, plays all these recordings that the bands came in. So we have an opportunity for their fans to hear their music on the radio, both streaming and, and real radio with partners here in Hamtramck. We also are doing live shows and events. Because what good is music if you can't come out and see it? But the bands got to work together. We, we bring them together, bring bands from Nashville and Detroit and, and Toronto together on shows that make sense in the city of Detroit. But we all know Detroit's much, much more than just really great independent music. This room is filled with people that have amazing projects like Hostel Detroit, you know, real, real buddies of ours, next door neighbors. So we're connecting these bands with the city. And we're bringing them and filming them in these great spaces and highlighting these amazing things that are happening with the city so these bands can start to provide the soundtrack for awesome things like Fly House Detroit, really good friends of ours, and taking them over to the Heidelberg Project. So the Sugar People, yes, we're a rock band, but we're about sharing what we've been able to do for ourselves and give back to the city so that Detroit can have as vibrant of a scene as Nashville, as Austin, or as Brooklyn. It's not about bands avoiding the city, 
because there's ruins and, and garbage and they're trying to get down to, to Nashville to play, they stop here and they come play with us. GBSDetroit.com is our website. Follow us on Twitter. And please, just enjoy the music. Share it with everybody and rock out because this is the home of O-Town. This is the Motor City. We've been there before and we can do it again. And we're here to share and help. Thank you.